Unity and diversity. Math and creativity. How can these very different things find peace? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there! Thank you for checking my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I am Coach Laika of Team Laika and I make educational and motivational content here on my YouTube channel. This video in particular is something that I'm making in support of our Teach Peace Build Peace Movement Families project, which is hashtag Kumustaka, hashtag peace in the time of COVID-19 campaign. Today, we are going to try to make math fun. Now, a lot of people think that mathematics and creativity cannot exist in the same plane. They are too different for them to be in peaceful harmony. But it's something that I want to demonstrate to you guys. So today, we're going to talk about addition and different ways for you to add different numbers. And uh, there will be free worksheets that you can download and practice on with this video. The links will be showed and flashed on the screen and will also be in the comments section up there or down here, depending on where you're watching this. And all of those will be for free. Now, in order for me to show you how mathematics and creativity can work together to solve a problem, I'm going to switch over to my PC. I'll see you in a bit. All right, let's talk about adding numbers. Let's take this equation as an example. 18 plus 24 equals, and if you are going to use the traditional way of adding these two numbers, we're going to have to rewrite them in a vertical way. So 18 plus 24. And after doing that, we're going to have to solve it from right to left, starting with the ones column. So you have 8 plus 4, which is going to give us 12. And then since that is a two-digit two number, you're going to have to write down 2 right here. And then the 1 for the tenth digit in 12 will have to go right here above 1 on the tenth digit. And then uh, we are going to have to add all of the numbers in the tenth row. So you have 1 plus 1 plus 2, which is going to give us 4. The answer would be 42. Again, there's nothing wrong with this. This is a great way to go about doing things. But since the idea of this video is to give you options on how to solve the same problem in multiple ways, we're going to have to talk about other options for you. Okay, so this is just one way of doing it. Let's see if we can come up with another way. This technique right here is what I call the split and solve. Basically, if you are adding numbers, especially if you are not allowed to write anything down, what you could do would be to split each addend into its tens and ones digit, add the tens together and the ones together, and then put those together. Now, it may sound complicated if I talk to you about that like that. Uh, it's a bunch of steps if you think about it, but if you take it piece by piece, it'll all make sense. So how does that look like? Let's take 18. The first number is 18. And if you think about it, 18 is basically a 10 and an 8 together, right? It's because 10 plus 8 is going to give you 18. That is the split part. We're going to do the same for 24. So 24 is actually a 20 and 4 together. Okay? Now, <clears throat> now that I've split both add-ins into its tens and ones digit, all I have to do would be to put the tens together and the ones together. So mentally, I can think of 10 and 20 as 30 and 8 and 4 as 12. And since it's always easier to add anything to a number that ends with 0, this is actually way easier than dealing with all of the remainders and all of the uh, carried over tense digits like we did in the traditional way. So 30 plus 12 is simply 42. You just used a different method to get to the final answer. All right, now that you know how to use split and solve, I'm going to give you a new equation that you can try. 
Again, the first step is to separate the ones digit from the tens digits, and then do it for the other add -in, and then put all the tens together and the ones together. Add those two numbers, and then you will get to the final answer. If you're ready, it's your turn to solve. Okay, we have 26 and 28. Now, to split these into tens and ones, you have to think of 26 as 20 and 6. And 28 is 20 and an 8. Now, the more that you use this technique, the faster you'll get. You can actually get to the point that you don't need to write anything down. You just need to look at the numbers and you'll get to the answer. I'm just writing it down right now so you will have a better understanding of what the process looks like. Okay, now we have to put the tens together. So we have 20 plus 20, which will give us 40. And 6 and 8, which is going to give us 14. And now all we have to do is to add 40 and 14. That would give us 54. That is the final answer. Okay? So again, that is the split and solve method. Another way of adding numbers is using the chunking method. I actually have a full video lesson of this on YouTube. So if you haven't seen that yet, you can click on the I button right here if you're watching this on YouTube. And you can also check out the links if you're watching this on Facebook. Now, the idea when it comes to chunking is all you have to do is to make sure that one of the add-ins ends with a zero. And the way that you do that would be to get whatever is the difference between a number and 10 from the other addend. What do I mean by that? If you look at the number 18, all it takes is 2 for it to be 20, right? So 18 plus 2 is 20. Now, in order for me to level this out, all I have to do is to take this 2 that I added to 18 from 24. So I'm going to take 2 out of 24 which will give me 22. And if I add these two numbers, it will give me 42. Again, the idea would be, the more you practice this, the faster you will get. You won't need to rewrite anything to solve any problem. You just need to top up whatever is closest to a zero at the end, and then take the difference from the other number and you'll get to the final answer, okay? So again, it only takes two for 18 to go to 20. And I'm going to take that from 24, and then I'm going to add those two numbers to get to the final answer. Now again, the focus here would be on the final answer. It's still 42, it's the same numbers that we got using the traditional method and using the split and solve method. And now that you know how to use chunking, I'm going to give you time. It's your turn to solve this problem again, this time using chunking. If you're ready, it's your turn now. All right, let's see how I did. So we have 26 and 28. Now again, the idea would be to think of a way to make one of these two end in zero. Now, 28 is just, again, two away from 30. So that two, which is the difference I'm going to take from 26, so this will be minus two, it'll give me 24. And if I put these two together, that will give me 50. Four. Again, it's the same as what we did or the answer that we got from our split and solve technique. It's still 54. Now, like I said in the intro, this video is all about using different ways and using different techniques to get to the same answer. Okay? And if you're ready, I'm going to give you a challenge question and you're going to pick and choose whatever method works best for you to try to solve this. And then I'll show you how to solve it using the three different techniques. Okay? If you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts now. Okay. 
All right, let's see how you did. So our problem is 392 plus 129. Now let's use all the different methods to solve this. I know it's a three digit number. It's more than what I showed you a while ago, but the concepts are actually the same. So for the traditional way, all you have to do would be to rewrite the numbers. So you have 392 plus 129, and then we're going to have to solve it from right to left. Two plus nine is going to give us 11. So the ones digit will fall right there. And then the tens digit will go up there to be carried over. We have one plus nine, which is 10 plus two. That is 12. Raising the tens digit to the other side, you have one plus three plus one. That would give you 521. So the answer, according to the traditional way, is 521. Now the goal right here would be to use the split and solve technique and the chunking technique to come up with the same answer. Now let's use split and solve. For split and solve, all we have to do is to split all the digits according to their places. So now you have 300, 90, and 2 for 392. And then we have 100, 20, and 9 for 129. And then now we're just going to put everything together. So 300 plus 100 is 400. 90 and 20 is 110. And 2 and 9 is 11. So now we're just going to add all of these. Now 400 plus 110 is 510. 510 plus 11 is 521. It's actually the same as our first answer. Okay? Now using chunking, I'm just going to rewrite the problem just so you can see it better. You have 392 plus 129. Now, as you can see right here, 392 is actually 8 away from 400. Okay? Which means that in order for me to use the chunking method, all I have to do would be to take 8 away from 129, and that is 121. And if I put these two together, it's going to give me 521. It's actually still the same answer. And that is how you put mathematics and creativity together. As you can see, math doesn't have to be boring. You can be creative on how you can get to the correct answer as long as you focus on the rules and the laws and the end result. Now, if there's another thing that I want you guys to take away from this video, aside from those mathematical techniques, it's this. Unity can be about different people doing different things, but working towards one single goal. And as we fight this virus, as we fight survive COVID-19, I hope that you remember that you also have a part to play. If you can stay at home, please stay at home. If you're one of our hero frontliners, please take care of yourself. Please be careful. And we are all sending our prayers and well wishes to you guys. Stay safe. And if you are a content creator like me, please be mindful about the things that you post online. May we all encourage each other and help each other throughout this entire ordeal. Ask yourself, kumusta ka? Ask others kung kumusta rin sila. And may we all be united in this purpose and be united as a people helping each other beat the virus. Now, another way for you to help is to support Teach Peace Build Peace Movement's fundraising campaign for frontliners and evacuees from the Marawi siege. Their PayPal and other links will be right here for you to donate. Uh, the links will be in the description box as well. Please send your support if you could. Let's help them help more people as well. Thanks guys for watching. If you want more content like this, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss your upcoming uploads. And go and check out Teach Peace, Build Peace Movement social media accounts. All of those will be around here in the description box below. And uh, if you want more, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit that bell icon, and uh, I'll see you in my next video. As we always say in this channel, never stop learning. Aja aja, kainian. I'll see you in the next video, and bye for now.